So if we took this egg and drop it down in this jar of water, you can tell she's laying on her side, went straight to the bottom. Now, according to you guys, you would eat this egg just because it sank to the bottom of the jar. Well, according to the Health and Humane Services, this egg is registered with the state of North Carolina as a research egg. And in two more months, this egg will be exactly two years old. Now, let's go ahead and dive into the science of why we never flow test our eggs for freshness. Good morning beautiful people. Coming back at you with another chicken video. Today we're going to be talking about eggs again. Specifically because of you. Now our last egg video, 80% of our comments were suggesting that we float test or water glass our eggs for freshness. Now water glass and float testing are two different methods. Water glass is a nickname that was picked up by folks back in the day that like to lime store their eggs. That's the nickname they gave it anyway. Float testing is another method, or myth as we like to call it, where you're testing the freshness of your eggs by letting them float in a glass of water or letting them sink. Either way, the methods are wrong, and we're going to show you guys why. Now, all those research papers state that the egg was certified being brought in with the bloom intact, not washed. It also states that these eggs was never refrigerated. Well, not really refrigerated. They're kept at 55 to 58 degrees the entire time. They were never heated up, never cooled down, stayed at the constant temperature the whole time. So now I'm outside so we can see much better. Legend has it you take your eggs you have question about and you drop them in a glass or jar of water. And if the egg lays on its side, it's fresh. It's, uh, it's good to eat. If the egg raises up on its side slightly like this, then the egg gold. It's still good to eat. So if we took this egg and drop it down in this jar of water, you can tell she's laying on her side, went straight to the bottom. And according to most of you guys, you would eat this egg. Well, according to the Health and Humane Services, this egg is registered with the state of North Carolina as a research egg. And in two more months, this egg will be exactly two years old. Now, this is what a fresh egg looks like with the bloom intact. The air sac located at the top is very tiny. Now, regardless of how much time has passed, when the bloom is compromised, air is allowed to enter the egg because the shell was porous. Now, the more your bloom is compromised, the more air is allowed to enter the egg at a much faster rate. Now again, depending on the condition of the bloom, this can happen in a matter of weeks or it can slowly happen over a matter of years. Now, the bloom intact is why most folks are fooled into believing that only a fresh egg can sink to the bottom of a glass because it hasn't had time for enough air to come into the egg yet. And again, time is no regulation at all. Now the theory has it that the older the egg is, the more air comes inside the egg. The egg fills up with the air sac, the yolk dries out, and the egg starts to float. Now with an egg stored in perfect conditions like the research egg we have in this video, this air sac can take years to develop, which is why a bad egg can actually sink and a good egg can float. Because it all depends on who handles the egg on how fast the bloom is compromised. All right, so let me get set up on a tripod and uh, we'll see what this thing looks like on the inside. All right, y'all, so that's the best shot I can about set up for you. So let's go ahead and crack into this two-year-old egg and uh, let's see why she looks like on the inside. Well, she's definitely runny, that's for sure. Now, let's go ahead and show you guys. All right, so let me get out of the way here. All right, so as you can see, the egg white, you can still see the separation, but it's just water, just, just runny as crap. The egg yellow, um, I'm pushing pretty firm and it's not busting. It feels like I could just pick it up. It's so solid. Um, and it's still ain't, actually, it ain't busted. There it goes. So anyway, this is what an egg looks like when it's close to two years old. It's just two months from being two years old. And, uh, this is what it looks like when it's been kept in perfect conditions. Now, there's no sulfur smell or any rotted smell so far. But what I will tell you is this egg smells like I've been scaling fish so um, seriously it's really fishy the eggshell smells also like fish but it smells like fresh fish this is something I definitely would not eat I had to sign a waiver saying I'm not going to use any of these eggs for food purposes 
Okay, so as you could tell, that egg was more than eager to break open. It didn't exactly explode, but it was ready to pop. It had some pressure under it. Number two, the texture of the yolk, if I hadn't touched it, fooled me by looking at it. But then once I started touching it, it was almost so stiff I could pick it up. And third, the smell was outrageously like fresh fish. It smelled like I was killing fish right there on that table. Remember, that egg did sink to the bottom, and it looked perfectly fine until we cracked it and smelt of it. So there you go, guys. A two-year-old egg. Uh, you may be fooled just by looking at it. It's definitely not something I'd eat, even though it did sink to the bottom of the jar. So, again, it all goes back to knowing exactly where your eggs come from, whether they're washed or not, and if the bloom is intact. There's no scientific proof at all that float testing your eggs has anything to do with whether the egg is good or bad or fresh for that matter. All you're doing is testing the buoyancy of the egg and how much moisture it has. Regardless of what folks believe, if you dig deep enough and try to find the research, it just simply don't work. Thank you guys for watching and as always, we'll see you on the next one. Y'all keep on keeping on.